This is Gary Otensi with CNTV, and today we're in Larkspur, Colorado. I am here at Good Call Staging and Refurbishing since 2014 with passion for making homes beautiful. They have been changing outdated kitchen cabinets, staircases, and many areas of your home. I am joined today by Danielle. Thanks so much for joining us here today. Let's start off a little bit about yourself. I mean, the passion for beautifying things. Uh, when did this begin for you, and why did you decide to step out and go professional? It actually happened because I was homeless as a child. So it became a big thing where homes are supposed to be people's safety place. They're, you know, so I try to do it on a budget that everybody can afford because not everybody can afford that luxury. And that's what makes me happy is being able to offer services to everybody. Everybody across the board. Right. That is great. I mean, honestly, we live in a, in a busy world. We're a go-go society. Um, we need to slow down a little bit. At the end of the day, we're looking for that safe place. Right. We're looking for our home. Um, people needing their happy place. Do you feel that is something that um, you take a part in and it's something that you enjoy? Yes. Uh, people tell me, you make me happy. My house is happy. I love coming home now. And so it makes me happy. Just I don't. It sounds silly, but... It does actually make me really? happy, yes. Um, and there's also a point, and most people don't know this about me, that I have fibromyalgia. So that's also a point where um, it actually helps me mentally and physically being able to be proactive and active and physical. It's very impressive. Not only something you enjoy and you love, but it's therapy for yourself. Right, absolutely. You enjoy doing that. I mean, everybody wants a space we can call our own, a uh, place that we kind of took a part in creating. Yet, would you say that a lot of people get a little overwhelmed? Um, they look at it and maybe get nervous about, how do I communicate that vision to somebody? How important is listening on the front end to you when you're, when you're listening to the client describe what they want? You have to listen to them. They go through my Facebook page. They'll pick out 50 different things that other people have done and that they want. Um, and then I'll narrow it down, and then I'll go to their house and see what their actual house looks like. Because if they want mid-century modern and their house isn't that, it's not going to work so well. So we have to kind of, you know, blend styles as much as we can. Um, and then there's some people that just give me free reign. We do free, you know, the free color consult, and they just go pick what you want, do what you want. Have fun. That's got to be fun. A clean slate. Yeah. Let me have at it. Yeah. Once you have heard what the client wants um, and you're now be able to use your years of experience into how you're going to get there, when they start seeing a tangible plan come together, is that kind of an exciting part for them when they realize, wow, this is going to happen? Yes. Um, I've done people's whole homes where we've painted the whole interior, their kitchen, their cabinets, their vanities, their trim, their doors, a shiplap, and we've done everything and we've change their whole house. I've had people cry. So it's just like a really cool experience. That is neat. I mean, be it, I mean, a lot of products that you use, be it stain, paint, glaze, do you think it benefits the clients out there to work with somebody like yourself who, who um, enjoys the mixed medium uh, of different types to mix throughout? I love mixed mediums because I use chalk paint, milk paint, gel stain, latex. I don't use oil-based paint just because it's not my thing, but I know what I'm good at. Um, and people come to me because I'm able to give them what they need. And there's a lot, I work with a designer and she does a lot of faux painting where I do a lot of faux painting for her, for her clients. So I'm just able to kind of work with different clientele. So it helps. That is interesting. I mean, let's talk a little bit about paint. Do you think that is your your go-to product when it comes to transforming a home? Like you said, you're using chalk paint, milk paints, every type of paint out there, um, except for oils. But tell me, is, <laughs> is it your go-to that you kind of love transforming a home with? Yes, paint will transform anything. And it could be pretty inexpensive, even if you're doing it yourself. You, go to, you don't even have to go to Sherwin-Williams. You could go to Lowe's and buy a $30 can of paint. The techniques that you use, obviously, like you said, you've used them in every area of the home. Mm -hmm. One area of the home that is really your expertise is that of kitchens. Right. I mean, a kitchen is the most used area in our home. Right. I mean, it's functional, it's productive, yet at the same time, do you think we can have a kitchen that we're proud of, right. that we love, um, maybe even entertaining in? Right. Well, most women, that's their hub. And men, I'm not going to lie, there's a lot of sure. men that come to me and they are very particular about what they want in their kitchen. Um, and what also helps is that we have quartz guys and tile guys that work with me, so they're able to come on the project too. So that helps as well. Um, so we're just able to kind of give them the full service that they're needing. Um, 
people are just happy with that with the kitchen. I've done blue kitchens, I've done red kitchens, I've done stained kitchens. It's really fun what people want out there. I'm just there to give them what they want. <laughs> give them people what they want. I mean, I would have to say that one of the quickest ways to update an outdated kitchen has to be something that's in plain view, and that's your cabinets. Right. Is that still a project that is uh, one of your favorites? Yes. We just bought this house a month ago, and I just redid my kitchen cabinets already. So they were cherry, and I changed them up to a whiter color. So, And it's what makes me happy. So <laughs> it changes a huge look of everything. So it's a big, for not so much money, I feel like it's the biggest change in your home. That, that is definitely true. I mean, you can definitely see an updated kitchen just through the cabinets. Um, are people pleasantly surprised when um, they realize they need to update that kitchen, but are they surprised that they don't have to replace what they have? I mean, it's really kind of a way of going green when you're able to refurbish and um, use what you existingly have. Yes, because most people think that we have to take them down. We have to, you know, reface them. We have to do all. And you don't. I and mean, there's companies that are wonderful that do that. I don't do that. I take what you have and I make it beautiful. Um, even if, you know, there's people that have kitchens that have the old school hinges on the outside. We have tricks to make those look really pretty without having to spend hundreds of dollars to replace them. Um, and even just adding hardware, different hardware will change the whole look of your kitchen. And we do that for free. As long as you buy the hardware, my, we will install it at no additional cost. I've seen some amazing photos you have out there on your Facebook page. I mean, complete transformations. What you're able to do with paint on cabinets is quite amazing. Is there a, is there a go-to brand or a paint that um, you, you feel is almost superior to what you've used out there and um, you find yourself using a lot? I love Sherwin-Williams. Okay. <laughs> That's just what I use. Um, mostly on cabinets, I use Pro Classic. Um, it depends on if people want satin, if people want semi-gloss. I like satin, but if you have a ton of kids, you might want semi-gloss because it's a little bit more durable. Um, but those are more for kitchens that have oak in them. If you have like a maple or a flatter grain cabinet, I will use a Benjamin Moore product because it does just lay a little, you know, smoother, more durable. Uh, I wouldn't say more durable, okay. but just smoother. smoother. It just gives it a different look for different techniques. So you just have to know which paint to use for which wood. That is interesting. I mean, obviously the kitchen is functional. Another area of the home that is very functional um, has a purpose, um, but yet is, is big. It can make a statement, and that is your staircases. Yes. Tell me about a little staircase here. Is that something you like to uh, transform? Staircases? I just, I just did one today. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, yes. Um, staircases, that's the first thing you see when you walk Sorry. into a home. So if you have outdated staircases, and even if you don't want to spend the money to change it to wrought iron or balusters, you could paint the spindles. You could do two-tone. I mean, there's so many different things. I have effects where I can make your wood look like like barn wood. You know, it's just, just kind of giving, it changes a huge, it's just huge. I have, I don't have a staircase, but we put shiplap on it to give it dimension because it goes down to the basement. You'll see when you look in the house. <laughs> Definitely so. I mean, I agree with you. I mean, some of these homes, that's the first thing you see. It really kind of makes a statement. Right. Um, the banister, obviously, uh, is uh, for a purpose. But to me, it's like a work of art. I mean, you look at this thing, and it's like beautiful. Do you enjoy um, the wow factor when you deliver something to folks and show them the before picture and the after? I do. Um, I actually did a banister that was... I can't tell you who it was for, <laughs> uh -huh. but it was this huge banister. It was three stories, marble everywhere. It was the most insane, but it was the wow factor was, it was incredible. And I do love the before and after pictures. I take before and after pictures of everything, of like the whole process. I want to see everything because some people just think it's just a simple process. And there's a lot of work that goes into it. Absolutely. Not only a lot of work, but for yourself, like you said, it's uh, something you love. Right. It's therapy. Right. And at the same time, it's kind of a personal project for you because yeah. of the fact that um, it takes on a little bit of you as well as the client. Right. Um, is it important for you, like you said before, to make it affordable to people so that they can they can enjoy some of these things that maybe they couldn't afford it otherwise? Yes. Um, there's a lot of companies out there that charge and we all charge differently sure. and for good reason we all have different reasons of why we do it um i say that i'm blessed to have this talent and i like to just give back so for this year alone um we were giving 20 percent off any bids for this year so i mean and my kitchens don't usually start at super high they're usually affordable and um we're also doing if you have 20 cabinets or below it's a 1200 flat rate 
That's including labor, materials, everything. Impressive. Right. So the thing is, is that I'm the one that does it all. So it does take a little longer than, you know, some companies that do, but you get quality and you get my heart thrown in a little bit, right? right. You know, a little heart. <laughs> That is very, that, <laughs> exactly, very important. I mean, um, obviously there's much science in the products you use, what paint to use, how to use it, but really at the end of the day, this is an art for you. Right. I mean, this is, this is an art, a way of expressing yourself and sharing what you love uh, with other people, uh, perfectly imperfect, as you say. Yes. Um, is this something that continues to be rewarding for you? Yes, I mean, I keep thinking, it's just a blessing. Every day, I, I don't even know how else to say it. It's just a blessing um, that I'm blessed to own my own business and do something that I love and to make people happy. So, And we even give back yearly where we'll give free kitchens to people, um, donate my time for fundraisers and whatnot. So I'm a big... I, I do it because I like it. I mean, that's pretty much what it boils down to. That's all I can say. <laughs> that's usually the best people out there is when they're actually passionate about what they're doing. Before I let you go today, why don't you share with me one other aspect of your company that you provide and that is staging. Uh, why is that something you feel you, you kind of do on the site as well? I'm good at it. Mm -hmm. I'm just playing. Um, it's just something that, again, it could transform a whole home and you don't, and you could do it on a budget. Not everything has to be super expensive. Not, you know, it's just a piece at a time. And I started doing staging when I first started my business. And then I started going, do my kitchens, do my this, do my that. And so that kind of became the back burner. But now it's starting to come up again. So I just, you do that. I'm for, the Danielle of all trades. For people out there that don't even know what staging is, tell them what that is. Is, is this something done for uh, residential or is this something done for uh, real estate or commercial? Explain. I have done it for all of the above. I've had people who just say, I don't know what to do. We just bought a new house and I have all this stuff and I don't know where to place it. I don't know where to hang it. I don't know what paint colors. And I just go in and I just give them a different viewpoint. I've had businesses that have had me do it. Um, you know, because they just want, it's so hard when you're in your own box, you need someone else's viewpoint. And I'm just kind of eclectic and I kind of throw a little stuff around. Um, Interesting. Yeah. That is wonderful. Viewers, let's take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is their website. First of all, on the website, you're going to take a look at some beautiful work out there. I see some before and after pictures, uh, projects that she's got um, up and coming, she's working on. You're going to be pretty amazed as well as at the same time inspired to probably want to do something in your home. Um, check out their Facebook page. Uh, once again, she's going to let you know some tips out there. Maybe see a, a project uh, that she is working on currently. But the best way to find out is obviously just uh, set up and get a quote. Um, if you're overwhelmed out there, maybe you're a do-it-yourself, you're trying to put it together and you're realizing um, it's a little bit overwhelming. Well, it may just be the, uh, maybe a good call to call in a professional and realize that she can help you, walk you through it, and uh, at the end of the day, you're going to be wowed when you realize that um, it was possible, it was affordable, and you will, you'll find your happy place. As Gary Atensi with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.